Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. I'm glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the independent feature-length film this time around, and it's called Black Dahlia Haunting, brought to us by Brandon uh, Slagel, who also wrote this. You may recognize that name. They brought us Wonderland. This time around, we get the story of Holly Jensen, played by Devani Penn, who goes from New York to L.A. to visit her brother, who is being charged with the murder of her father and their stepmother. Well, when she arrives, she finds out there's more to this mystery that meets the eye, and she finds her brother has been drawing pictures of Elizabeth Short, a.k.a. the Black Dahlia, who he says she, he sees her in his uh, visions and, and dreams and such, and uh, which is kind of weird because he's blind. <laughs> and uh, when he went blind, he would have never known what her face was like, but there it is in the drawings. And on top of that, a shady doctor who she's not quite uh, trusting and who seems to be questioning her motives, as well as some weird paranormal stuff that's happening around her, and what you've got yourself is a very creepy, atmospheric, independent horror film that I think is worth your time. I enjoyed this film quite a bit. Now, it is a slow burn, okay? It takes a while to get into things, but as things begin to ramp up and you really get into this story that they've built around the Black Dahlia legend, uh, you'll get more and more intrigued and want to see what happens next. Devani Pin does great. Uh, she's got a couple uh, different personalities in her character, and she really can switch from one to the other like that and I really loved her performance in it and she really carries uh, this character well and sells this character of Holly Jensen uh, everybody around her in this film does well uh, I like the chemistry between her and the the brother uh, definitely some great dialogue there and some uh, decent scenes the uh, acting is decent in this film but also the special effects they worked within their budget and they didn't get too fancy they added some subtle things to it uh, they, they did just enough visual effects where they didn't stand out as bad CGI. And there's some great practical gore in effects in here as well. Uh, Brandon Slagel's in here. He plays a role as Malcolm. You got Cleve uh, Hall as the Black Dahlia Avenger. And then you get uh, Alexis Icocano. Uh, I may have mispronounced that. I do apologize. And Jessica Cameron, who are in some scenes, uh, in the flashback scenes mostly. Alexis plays the Black Dahlia, and Jessica Cameron plays a character named Norma Jean. And I really liked the flashback scene that they had together. Uh, it was done in black and white. The costuming felt authentic and very fitting for the period that they're supposed to be in. And the dialogue as well was delivered very well. So I really liked the flashback scenes. And they really helped add to that connection of this story to the Black Dahlia. Again, this is not looking uh, to be an answer to what happened to the Black Dahlia. It's using that legend as a catalyst for this paranormal stuff that happens to Holly Jensen and her brother brother. Black Dahlia Haunting is a really well done independent film. Shows you what you can do on a limited budget and uh, it is a creative story that is uh, very interesting especially as it gets towards the end and things ramp up. I think it's worth the time for anyone who is into independent horror films. Uh, it's again not a fast paced film but let me tell you by the time you get to the ending you'll be saying hey that was worth my time because the ending is pretty doggone creepy and was a little bit surprising to me, uh, especially in that final scene. So check out Black Dahlia Haunting if you can. It should be on DVD retailers. I believe it's in uh, Walmart. It, it is being distributed. It's on wide distribution and you should be able to find it at your local DVD retailer because uh, I do think it was, is definitely worth your time. And that about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep that ticket stop.